Welcome, welcome everybody, we are back! Soul Food ZA, back in business! Come to do the thing, I am proper, proper guest. I don't know about you, dog. I'm here, dog, I'm here. Oh, Season 2, yes. we'll be back. Took a while to come back to it, but you know, life. <gasps> so many responsibilities. Yeah, yeah. But, oh yeah, compliments to the new year. New year. New year. Not new us. Yeah. Come back with content. Yeah. Or maybe it is new us. We're gonna, we are going to commit to being more consistent you know we're going we're going new year new us we're gonna do it i think in us i have faith see how it goes Let them know. That was them. This is me. This is King. You ain't know. All right. So, getting into it. Yeah. Like you say, New Year. Mm -hmm. New Year came with a few scandals. Yeah, there's a lot going on. Mm -hmm. Missed out on a lot, actually. We did. We did. Should have debunked like a lot of fresh. Yeah. A lot of a lot of new stuff. To yeah. Go on. But I even got my biggest small shirt. That came out, uh, the, I got a story to tell. Notorious. Notorious B.I.G. You should check it out, it's out on YouTube. Yes, it's yes. Netflix. Netflix. It's out on Netflix and dropped last week. So. Uh, no shameless plugs, yeah, okay. They need to pay the bag. You know, they need to come with the bag. Netflix, if you see this, yeah. you know what to Put do. Sound. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. going straight into a big scandal that has come out recently. Mm. Anne Herbert. Mm -hmm. Nike VP. Nike VP, or... Former, former, former MP. She just resigned. Um, yeah. I don't know if you guys actually but heard. You know how they say when they say resigned. <laughs> you know what happened. You know what happened. You Everyone know what happened. knows what happened. You know yeah. what happened. Yeah, it's just but, she um, Yeah, like I'm saying, mm -hmm. her son mm -hmm. Joe Herbert mm -hmm. is a sneaker flipper, sneaker reseller, and. You know, we love sneakers. Yeah. We nothing against sneaker resellers. Yeah. We part would, of the culture. Yeah, we would do it as well. It's part of the culture. Um, but he got caught. No, he didn't actually get caught. He had a Bloomberg article yeah. written about his company, West Coast Streetwear. Mm -hmm. And in the Bloomberg article they found that his mom, mm -hmm. obviously being a VP at Nike, yeah, who was head of sales. Yeah. It's actually very interesting. Mm -hmm. It's very ironic that she was Tasked at the time with the sneakers app, sneakers app, yeah. and how to eliminate third-party resellers and yeah. have the consumers going straight to Nike yeah. to buy the sneakers. And if you guys have been, you know, in the atmosphere of the sneakers industry, you've realized like there's a lot of frustration with a lot of sneaker heads. A lot of people love to buy sneakers. There's a lot of frustration with the whole sneakers app. Mm -hmm. Getting into sneakers, yeah. raffles, all those things. Had a few hours already this yeah. year. Yeah, so you know this whole saga just comes in so personally to a lot yeah. of people because it's just like we've been trying to get sneak. So many L's people have been catching, and now it comes out that head of Nike or VP is part of the problem. You know what I mean? And a big problem. That a big problem because it was found in that Bloomberg article. They found that. He was spending yeah. 130,000 US dollars on his mom's credit card. Yeah. His mom's credit card. Yeah. So that's where the whole mistake happened because initially she had actually brought the, I don't know if you know this, but she had brought the issue, issue to Nike in yeah. 2018 saying, son my son is a reseller. reseller. Yeah. And Nike said that there was no conflict of interest, there was nothing wrong in terms of corporate structure or corporate laws yeah this was absolutely fine yeah and now it seems because her name is directly linked to the purchasing yeah. of bulk quantities yeah it just it ruins the whole ethics because now i mean she's part of technically she's like the party in the company yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. so now you can't be a uh, nike I mean, retailer and then be and then be a flipping Flipper as well. Exactly. The vice president. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That means if if, the my, just don't if my mom and dad was vice president, the like, ethics just don't connect. It makes sense that she would get every shoe that her son wants. Mm -hmm. Like if yeah, there's what what's there's she, no transparency, there's no fairness there. No, but what I'm saying is else. what I'm saying is like 
if her son wanted the off-white fives and she goes and gets them for him, I have no problem with that. That absolutely makes sense. You get what I'm saying? But to spend 130,000 US dollars to then get a bulk quantity, boatloads of shoes, to then flip, that's it's selfish. Selfish, yeah. Very. It's super greedy. Yeah. It's just it's something. Not right. Yeah, it's something I, I can't. Be, I mean, there's that big, big limit on units that they release. And then now one guy is, we'll, drop, we'll put the pictures on, one guy has a whole fit, yeah, warehouse wow. of sneakers that only, you know, one in 300 people can get when you enter a raffle. Yeah. One in 500. And people are... One in 200. In the lines, people are getting people. stomped out. Yeah. <laughs> people are... Been a, I saw two weeks ago, a few weeks ago, there was that um, brawl that happened in New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The SBs. Oh, the SBs, yes, yes, yes. It was yes. just like, jeez. Ah, it's, dude, it's, so it's like... It's a serious thing and you are yeah. you're manipulating this. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And I don't know if you feel sorry for her, for Anne Herbert, because 25 years she worked her way through the ranks of Nike. Yeah, well, I mean, it's just, it was just unfortunate. Not unfortunate, but it was just miscalculated. She's in, I don't know, like, I think she was, always, she was very nonchalant about the whole thing. She had to be involved. She it's it's her credit card. She's yeah. getting the notifications on yeah. these bank statements. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? And yeah, once it's your credit card, it just looks like you are. She's basically, you know, CFO of his company. Exactly, and and a, and another. Oh, that's actually a perfect way to put yeah. it. Another big. She's funding the company. Exactly. Another glaring issue. Oh, company is doing well. Yeah. But another glaring issue is that it's not that he just bought a lot of shoes. Yeah. It's that that credit card is linked to bots, automated. You, you get what I'm saying? So. He's running a whole issue. scheme. Yeah, that's a big issue, you know, because when people include um, automatic uh, purchasing bots, you're just like, how is everyone else gonna compete against that? Because exactly. now a guy's gonna create bots that's gonna put him on a raffle, which is gonna buy like 200 pairs of sneakers. That's what I'm saying. And you just one person entering your raffle. Like, this whole raffle thing just comes into question. Where's the fairness in that? Exactly. Why are we still doing this? Yeah, man. There's no purpose. I mean, the L that we've been taking, I mean, I'm taking it personally. <laughs> it's hard. I entered the raffle for <laughs> Jordan 1 University. I desperately needed those. Like, oh. I, I've been crying for those. I had it out. Three different stores, four different stores, local stores. I mean, Shelf Life, Shesha, Archive. Archive. And L's. L's and L's and L's and L's. And I mean, how do you manipulate that? I mean, as much as, because you need, um, for the security, they try to put it on with um, ID numbers. ID numbers. Yeah, you need to put in your ID yeah, number yeah, yeah. for like the security to make sure that there's no bots and all that. Shelf Life had a dope thing they were doing last year where they had a question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had to fill out questions. If you got a question wrong, your your but submission is not accepted. But still, I mean, I don't, I'm not being a sore loser about it, but I'm like... If you're going to lose, you lose. Yeah, but I mean, once Shelf Life comes out and then they're like... One in three hundred chance chances of getting the shoe. You well, just like, what are we doing here? I have no problem losing if I've lost fair. But if I've lost in a fair, I have no problem losing. But when you start seeing this, yeah, yeah, it starts to now beg the question. Yeah, it's dude. It's, and he doesn't even seem remorseful. No, he's, he's here he's posting his BMW. Yeah, he's a big stunter. Yeah. So it's like, where that where's the line drawn? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean. How do you how do you compete against someone who has all that arsenal to head to his disposal? Oh, I don't know, dude. <laughs> On to bigger things, the big monster that is the recent industry. To wrap this video up, I mean we are gonna do a bigger video yeah. to explain to you guys the recent industry, but yeah. this debacle yeah. really just highlights it's the monster that it is. Yeah, well, I mean Hypebeast created this. Hype, yeah, Hypebeast. Hypebeast culture created yeah. this way. You know, Kanye, Nike. Nike, Nike is to blame for this. Yeah, I mean, it's not about the love for sneakers anymore. Yeah, it's just yeah, about yeah. profitability. Yeah, I'm, so, I, I understand both sides, though. I do understand both sides. But this is what I, I was telling should, you earlier. It should be a balance, though. But it should be a balance. But did I'm I not tell you like two weeks ago that coming into this year, I was like, I'm going to stop being a sneakerhead. And you laughed at me. And then this comes out. This is what I was talking about, you know. Yeah. But like, just think about the whole recent history in itself. 
it's a 79 billion dollar yeah. industry yeah. now projected to by 2019 20, by 2026 yeah. it's going to be 119 billion dollar industry just of sneakers just sne reselling just reselling sneakers That's reselling sneakers ridiculous. but this is this is how big it is it's been it's recession proof it's proven that it's pandemic proof yeah so you know like I, I, I see the monster, but what this is, it was just greed, honestly. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's every industry. I mean, especially with the resale and sneaker industry, it's, the rich keep getting richer. The rich keep getting the rich richer. Because richer. Richer. they have the access to get these sneakers better than everyone else there yeah. in front of the line yeah. at the sneaker store. It is sad. <laughs> yeah. But like, like I'm saying, dude, Nike is to blame yeah. as much as anyone because. To be quite frank with you, 3,000 Rand for a pair of sneakers is expensive. It is. And that's not expensive. Retail. That's ridiculous. That is retail. That's ridiculous. And then it comes to the resale side. Yeah. And we don't highlight how expensive it is on retail because it's like, oh, well, it's better than retail. Yeah, well, I mean, it seems like every sneaker that drops now at retail, like, you just need to make sure that, you, well, you need to prepare yourself that yeah, yeah. I might have to buy this at a restock. It's tough being a sneaker, man. Yeah, like because you can't get anything, anything at all now at retail because yeah, it's so so limited. Now your love for sneakers is being squandered by the opportunity to just even buy it. Yeah. I mean, I have I had homies asking me like you know the whole raffle from Shesha and Shelf Life. Yeah. They they were like, so is this so if I enter this raffle, does it mean I win the sneaker? Or I'm like, nah. That's just for the chance, the opportunity to purchase with your own cash. Yeah. You have to raffle to even get the chance to purchase the shoe. And I'm just like, it's a cold game. Yeah, the right. game is cold. But like, like we said, we are going to have a bigger video. So stay tuned for that, where we actually break down the whole resale industry. Even, you can make it a vlog even. It can be a vlog. Yeah, I want a vlog. Tell us in the comments what you guys think yeah. about it. Vlog or should yeah. it just be a video? Which one you guys would like? But for this first episode of 2021, it will be a better year than last year. Hopefully. It will be. Hopefully. This is us. We're going to wrap it up. I pray my people live for as long as they want, not want. For as, we want it. We've been wanting. We are left wanting. But I pray you live for as long as you want and don't want for as long as you live. From us here at SFZA. Mm -hmm. Stay crap. Oh, I forgot. Stay crib, stay fresh. It's been a long time. <laughs> too long. Too long.